Josh, your worth's epiphany came while sat in front of an F.A. disciplinary panel reeking of alcohol as cocaine surged through his system. Last month, on his 24th birthday, the former Wales youth team captain was sacked by Peterborough after being handed a record four-year ban for evading a drugs test. Welsh defender Josh Yorworth was sacked by Peterborough after evading a drugs test and taking cocaine. I had a pre-hearing at Wembley to give my version of events about the night the testers came to my house. Yorworth told Sunsport. I'd slept for one hour, was stinking of booze and I'd used cocaine the night before. I'm sitting there in a waistcoat and a dicky bow thinking to myself, I need help here. Your worth's addiction to drugs, drink and gambling has seen his life spiral into chaos, from being Cardiff's best talent as a teenager to career in tatters. Photographs of the centre-back competing against Man United's Wayne Rooney three years ago during a League Cup tie hang in his father Robert's modest home in Bridgend, Wales. As Yorworth sits on a leather sofa in the living room and details the 13-hour benders, days on cocaine and deaths he faces of up to £35,000, his gaze becomes vacant. What am I going to do now, he says. I haven't got any training, I've never done anything else, Yorworth believes his career is in ruins after the FA gave him a record four-year ban but, first, to the fateful four days that have, ultimately, brought an end to his career. On September 25, F.A. drug testers came knocking on Yorworth's door, two days after a wild weekend in which his antics in Peterborough made the news. We'd had a game on the Saturday, I wasn't in the team and knew we had to play in this crappy under-21s game on the Monday that no one likes to play in, he says. Me and some mates ended up going out, got too drunk and caused a scene. We went back to my friend's apartment being idiots, smashing plates on the floor, smashed the TV up and threw pint glasses across the room. I woke up on Sunday with the realization that we'd trashed an apartment and I'd put it on social media. I got in the car and had TalkSport on and they were talking about it. I lost my way from there, went straight to the pub and did drugs. Yorworth left Cardiff's academy for Ipswich where he competed against Man United in the League Cup two nights later, having been scalded by Peterborough's board and fined two weeks' wages, Yorworth settled down with a Chinese takeaway to watch the football with teammate George Cooper. There was a knock at the door at about 9.30pm, he recalls. I went to the door and saw there were two guys there, seen they were from the FA and had a bag, and I backed off straight away. They knocked for an hour and a half, went away for 20 minutes, then knocked again. I was in so much shock and panic. I thought, that's two years suspended now with cocaine use. I went into training as normal. I thought they wouldn't have enough evidence to prove it was me at the door. But nine days later I was called in by the manager, Steve Evans. Your worth's addiction to gambling has seen him in debts of up to £35,000. Your worth, who is on antidepressants and been to rehab, was given an initial suspension of two weeks. But he never ended up back at Peterborough. With wages still being paid, his addictions were both funded and fueled as he came to terms with an uncertain future. I went into a bit of a spiral by myself. I'd go three days straight, hardly any sleep, no food at all, drinking and doing drugs, he reveals. I'd have a two-day rest thinking I'll never drink again with the hangover, and then I'd do exactly the same, and it would be a cycle of about four weeks. Yorworth spoke to Sun Sports Tom Roddy at his father Robert's home in Bridgend, Wales, I couldn't come home because of how much I'd let my family down. I would have too much to answer for. Despite the excessive drinking and cocaine use, your worth's drug of choice has always been gambling. His first taste came as an apprentice in Cardiff's academy and began with regularly losing 50 pounds of his 500 pounds weekly wage. I'd be gutted but go home and do the same the next day. It spiraled now to whatever I have goes on gambling, he says. There was a stage where I had £12,000 in my account and I'd get up in the morning and bet on virtual dogs. I remember when I was 18, I was in Oceania in Cardiff with my mate down to drink and put £500 on a virtual dog. I won £2,200.
The wins were rare, though, and Yorworth believes gambling is a widespread problem in football. When you're a youngster and at academy level you feel supported by welfare officers, but when you become a pro you're left to it, he explains. Yorworth captained Wales under 16s and was known as the best talent in Cardiff's academy. Yorworth moved to Peterborough from Crawley last summer. Some players these days are getting £20,000 a week as a 17-year-old. God help them if they're an addict, and a lot of them will be. Alcohol became an addiction for Yorworth when he moved to Crawley Town on loan at the age of 21. I could have eight or nine pints on the Sunday, go in on the Monday and then manager Harry Kewell could smell it on me. Yorworth recalls. He'd tell me to calm down and stop. It wouldn't stop me playing, it never did. I could drink three or four times a week and I had a brilliant season that last year. One of the more memorable benders came early in the season after falling out with Kewell over being left out the team. Yorworth says he has no training outside of football and has no idea what he can do for work. I was miles better than what I had in front of me, he says. The manager was very arrogant with me and I couldn't take it. I was fuming. On the Sunday, I thought, I'm going out, it was a boiling hot day, lovely day, and there was a festival in Brighton. I rung my mate who worked in a hotel in Crawley and we went down to Brighton and got steaming all day. I came back at 2 in the morning and realized I didn't have my house key, so I climbed up the balcony like Spider-Man. I'm knocking on the window and across the road was an ex-journalist who used to write about Birmingham City. She wrote a big piece to Crawley about how she saw me dangling from the roof. We played Birmingham on the Tuesday in the Carling Cup and lost 5-2-1.